too much. I swear that these niggas they be doing too much. I ain't got it. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Money Yachty TV, man. Today. We got NBA Youngboy and Kodak Black, they whole beef that's going on right now. It's the most talked about thing right now in the game, man. So listen, um, I've seen so many other YouTubers, you know, they get their thoughts and everything on it. So I'm going to get my thoughts on it, man. You know, this is, this is you know, two of the, I say, two of the uh, the biggest in the game right now. You know, from from a standpoint, they own right. NBA Youngboy and Kodak Black. You know, for I mean, we all know the backstory. You know, Kodak Black called NBA Youngboy a snitch, basically saying that he was corroborating with the cops. When Ayana stabbed his baby mama and all this and that and the third, a lot of drama. But, you know, and young boy, you know, he got on live. He went the fuck off. He snapped. He snapped. Honestly, man, when young boy, he never really responds to a lot of shit. There's a lot of niggas that don't like young boy, but he never really responded to them. You know, Fredo Bang and TBG, you know, they don't get along, but you don't ever see young boy going on live. Like, young boy don't ever, you know, they, they got their subliminals in their songs and everything, man, but... Shit, this had young boy in mode, for real, for real. You know, when you get called a snitch, when a street nigga, when a hood nigga, a real hood nigga, not this industry rap shit, but when a real hood nigga get called a snitch in any way, this is what happens. Young boy, you know, this is somebody who's been, you know, he, what, beat murdered, basically? And somebody gonna call him a snitch? Yeah, he ain't gonna take that lady. So we gonna see this video. I'm gonna get my thoughts on it, man. Let's get it. Oh, bad. These niggas watch me from a jail cell, man. These niggas watch me from a jail cell and be on my dick so bad, nigga. Mm -hmm. Niggas bitches. Niggas be writing academics about me, man. Telling academics to post shit about me. Hey, and then you see academics ass. I was like, you see academics ass in, in the in the comments though. But honestly, once the source gets to academics, man, listen. When the academics report on it, this shit official. It's official though. But academics, man, this whole thing. Like, I ain't the one to, to pick sides on it, man. I don't ever think young boys are snitch. I don't think young boys like that, man. He came from, this nigga from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The street of the street. The hood of the hood. This nigga ain't no snitch, man. He ain't no snitch. Nigga, hoes. I ain't never paid attention to a nigga. Especially from no motherfucking cell, nigga. The fucking <laughs> nigga watching me fuck. Then what a nigga say? A nigga say me. Nigga. Then what a nigga say? You can tell that nigga from Louisiana. Boy. The fucking nigga watching me fuck. Then what a nigga say? A nigga say me. Nigga say I corroborated. Bow, bow, man, bow, 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 bow. What you stupid bitch? Damn, you can. <laughs> hey, you can feel that aggression when he said that shit. Bow, what you stupid bitch? Come on now, young boy and mo for real. Bow, bow, man, bow, 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 bow. <laughs> what you stupid bitch? Ooh. Huh? Bow, 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 bow. My wife? Huh? But my wife say, Ayana, get up. Get up. Come here. You talking Got about that girl. You talking about this girl right here? Talking about my wife? My wife. Look at her. Look at her. Man, listen. Man, hold on. You talking about my wife? Inside inside my house that I paid for? Now her bitch ass daddy, nigga. Ooh, man, what the fucking smoke, dog. Listen. Now, Floyd Mayweather, man, listen. This nigga... Floyd Mayweather got enough money to get you gone without anybody even knowing that you're gone. But young boy is a bold ass motherfucker, man. Young boy do not give a fuck. Like that's what make him so real. He don't care if he beefing with the president. He don't care if he be beefing with God. He gonna go head to head with somebody. He he'll never back down from nobody. He gonna speak his mind, and tell it like it is. Huh? And now bitch ass daddy, I ain't never accepted not one thing from her in my life. Why? Cause y'all be playing on me, bitch. Like I, like I need a girl for something. Mm. Nah, I give her anything she ever asked me for. I ain't never asked her for nothing. She bought me two pairs of shoes. I ain't, I ain't, I don't think I ever, I don't think I ever. I heard somebody, what was it? One of the blog sites saying that he was with her cause you know, her family got money, man. Young boy got his own money, dog. Young boy got his own money. Nigga's a millionaire himself. I ain't never asked her for nothing. She bought me two pairs of shoes. I ain't, I ain't, I don't think I ever, I don't think I ever wore a pair of them bitches, but. But with them black Chanel. Look, when he said when he said something about her dad, she ain't said a thing. She like, yeah, I ain't like damn. It's tough, man. It's tough. Huh? Tell me why this bitch ass nigga spoke on me from jail. Why the fuck you even watching me? You damn. supposed to be a gangster though, but you watching me from jail. Man, you is a bitch. This nigga gonna say I cooperated with the I, I cooperated with the police. Man, you stupid bitch. Hey, you stupid. <laughs> bitch. I ain't <laughs> Boy, you better stay in your place. These niggas hoes, man. Ooh. These niggas hoes. Who you referring to? You referring to my wife? I'm talking <laughs> to my bed right now. You bitch ass nigga. 
done. I tell your only partner them get at me, man. With your whole ass, nigga. Oh, gang. Woo. Man, listen. Listen, man. Listen, dog. Now, this whole thing. You know, I think it... Y'all remember it was a year ago, Kodak Black went to NBA Youngboyhood and whatnot. You know, that's when, I think that's when the whole, the, the tension between these two started low-key. I feel like that's when it started. Because it was like, people was banning Youngboy from Florida, and Kodak went to went to Baton Rouge, and all this and that, man. I don't know, it's tough, man, it's tough. You know, I, I seen, you know, Jack Boy responded and everything, man. I did the NBA Youngboy reaction to Step On Shit yesterday. I, I asked y'all, I was like, who y'all rocking with? Louisiana, or y'all rocking with... With uh, Florida, man. Y a lot of y'all said Louisiana. You know, check the stats on Louisiana for real. I mean, not to take anything away from Florida, though. But with the way I feel like NBA Youngboy think, man, he don't back down from nobody because you can never, ever, never let another man put fear in you. A lot of people are like, oh, yeah, Kodak Black, he, he got these people, he got those people, you know. Everybody can die the same. Everybody can die. He can get, he can die the same exact way I can die. You know, you never let another man put fear in you, man. That's how young boy move. He don't never he ain't scared of nobody. Young boy ain't scared of nobody. Like he's saying, y'all got sticks, nigga. We got sticks too. But like I said though, I was caught off guard by this because I'm like, young boy, he never really respond to niggas. Like he don't never respond to niggas. When everybody was dissing him, who was dissing him? From uh from Louisiana, was it? Was it Scotty Kane? Was Scotty Kane the one that made that NBA Young Boy diss? It was somebody. Somebody made a uh, NBA Young Boy diss. And then I'm like, Young Boy, he don't really respond to none of that shit. Like he don't get on social media and, and do this. That's why I was so caught off guard, man. So I'm like, man, look. It's on. It's on, man. You know, I'm hoping, honestly, you know, all all funny shit aside though. I hope that, you know, nobody get hurt in this whole thing, man. But, you know, this is some serious shit, though. Labeling somebody as a snitch, you know, it, that's 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 tough. You know, a street nigga at that, you know, I, I don't know, man. I don't know where it's going to go from here, though, man. But it's, it's going to be interesting to see, though. It's going to be interesting to see. But, you know, NBA young boy, you know, he got his camp. Kodak Black got his camp. You know, I'm going to ask y'all again, though, who you rocking with? Are you rocking with Florida? Y'all with the Haitians out there? Or are you rocking with Louisiana? What y'all what y'all what y'all think? If, if shit hit the fan, if shit was really going down, who y'all got in this, man? Who y'all got in this, man, for real? Y'all got NBA Youngboy or do y'all got Kodak Black? Y'all let me know. But honestly, man, if Kodak Black if Kodak Black gets out, man, honestly, all bullshit should have... Ah, I'm fucking up. All bullshit should have... All bullshit aside, though, man, I think it could definitely make a lot of, uh, a lot of good music out of this. As long as they keep it in the studio... But this probably won't be kept in the studio. But just think of how much how much music can be made out of this, though. Like, even if they came with heavy-ass diss tracks back and forth, dog. And I'm not saying Jack Boy or anybody else or, or O3 or something. Just keep it NBA Youngboy and Kodak Black. If they made tracks back and forth like that, man. Listen, that should be dope. That'd be heavy, man. But shit, Youngboy, like I said, he wanted the people. I'm going to keep saying this because he never responded to nobody. I feel like I'm talking in circles. I probably am. But I don't give a fuck. But he don't ever respond to nobody. Like I said, the whole TBG thing. Like, yeah, if you listen, if you really listen to a lot of young boys' music, yeah, you know, he he throws some, you know, he throws a little bit of shade in, in some of his songs, but he don't ever say no names like that. You know, you you like, oh, he probably that was probably a shot towards Fredo Bang, or that was for Jada Young and her. Well, Jada Young and ain't in TBG, but that was Fredo Bang, or that was you know so and so, you know, but. I don't know, man. I think it's up now. I think it's up now. I think it's up, and it ain't going down right now. I think they this this shit going. You know, I say this is honestly, man. Say what you want, though. I say that this is a modern day, and a lot of people, a lot of people gonna get mad at me for saying this. Fuck it. I think this is a modern day Tupac and Biggie shit right here. A lot of people they didn't even know we were in the world, man. Shut the fuck up. But I think this is modern day Tupac and Biggie beef right here. You know, two niggas with that credibility in their own hoods going at each other's necks like this, man. It's on. It's hot right now. It's hot right now. NBA young boy snapping on Kodak Black, man. Listen, y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man, honestly. 
Um, but I appreciate y'all for watching. This video might have been all over the place, man. I don't usually do videos like this ever. I mostly just stick to reacting to music. But I feel like I had to do a video like this. I had to do a video on it. But I appreciate y'all for watching. If y'all want daily reaction videos, hit that subscribe button for me. Um, kind of just talked off the top, man. I ain't had no script or nothing. I just kind of went off the top. But yeah, so a lot of shit probably didn't make sense. Probably did. I don't know. It was just my thoughts on it, man. But um, yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you for watching Money Yachty TV. I'm out. Oh, I ain't got to do too much. I swear that these niggas, they be doing too much. I ain't gotta do